What is going on, everybody? Chris Grant here, and I recently shared a statistic where I showed that over like 1.2 million ASINs have actually gone up in price over the past 90 days. Uh, and I did this because we often hear well, everything tanks. I buy something and everything absolutely tanks. And I just wanted to combat that just a little bit, much like I combat the uh, uh, the myth that keep a drops equal sales. Keep a drops do not equal sales. So I wanted to show you exactly how I was able to find this information and it is using the backbone of Amazon sellers, the, uh, the creme de la creme of softwares for arbitragers and flippers on Amazon. It is Keepa. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the data section of Keepa. And inside the data section, we're going to spend a little bit of time in the product finder. Now, in the product finder, a lot of folks have messed around with this and they know, oh, well, I can look up things by sales rank or price and so on and so forth. And you can even look up things based on their 90 day drop. What a lot of people don't know is they, they read 90 day drop and they say, okay, well, that's going to be uh, where the price or the sales rank comes down. However, there are ways that you can use this so that you can find things that are doing the exact opposite. So, I also wanted to make this a little bit more difficult. If we find all of the products on Amazon that have increased in price over the last 90 days, that's not really helpful because there are going to be products, let's say a book that's ranked 5 million, that's gone from $200 to $500. Well, chances are it may not sell at that $500 price point and the market is waiting for it to come back in stock at 500 or sorry, at $200 because they just won't pay for that $500 book. So I wanted to make sure that we found products where the sales rank shows that there is some movement on the product. Uh, and so what we're going to do is in the Keepa product finder, we're going to look for products where the sales rank has an average of one all the way up to 500,000 over the past 30 days. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, well, 500,000, that's way too high. I hear the guys on Instagram and things like that tell me that I need to look for things that are under 50,000 all the time. And I understand the sentiment and I appreciate it. However, there are tons and tons of products outside of that 50,000 in sales rank that do well uh, all the time. Home and Kitchen, for an example, is a really large category that uh, has that I've sold things that are 500, 750,000 in sales rank. Now, do you need to look a little bit closer at the number of sellers and things like that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and do you want there to be a little bit more margin? Of course, but we're just using this as an example. Now, what we can see here is that with sales rank, a 30 day average sales rank from zero or one to 500,000, there's 48,809,000 products on Amazon that are tracked with those metrics. But the other thing we want to do is we also want to remove Amazon. Uh, and I'm not saying don't compete against Amazon. There are people who do it every single day, but I know a lot of folks say, I don't want to compete with Amazon. So we're going to choose Amazon out of stock. And that brings us down to about 42.7 million products. And then we're going to run down to the buy box. So we can see the buy box here. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave price blank because we don't care what the price is. We just wanna know that the price has gone up. So we're gonna to go to the 90 day drop percentage. Now what this is, is this is going to be how much a price has changed over the past 90 days. So there can be some wiggles, both up and down, but on average, it has dropped X percent over the past 90 days. Now, if you put in here, I wanna see products that have dropped from 25 
to 50%, you're going to see the products that have actually gone down in price, anywhere from 25% to 50%. Now remember, in this 90-day drop section, in the first box there, you wanna make sure that the smaller number is all, always there, okay? The second box, the larger number, always needs to be there, all right? So now what we're gonna do is we actually wanna see price increases and you can go all the way to a thousand percent. So what we're going to do in this first box where we need the smaller number, we're going to put a negative 1000. All right, get that 25 out of there. This is going to be a negative 1000% or a 1000% increase in price. In this second box, we need the number to be larger. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go a negative 10. Now, I am no math magician, all right? But uh, a negative number that is closer to zero is larger than a negative number that is closer to, say, 1,000 or 5,000. So the smaller number is on the left, negative 1,000. The larger number is on the right, negative 10. And this will find us all the products that have increased in price by 10% up to 1,000% over the past 90 days, all right? That leaves us with 1,348,000 products you can see right here. But we wanna take this one step further and I wanna say, okay, I understand you may not wanna compete with Amazon and you may not wanna be on a listing where Amazon has a history of even coming in and out of stock and so what we're going to do here is we're going to come down to the, uh, we're gonna come down to product type. We're gonna remove digital products. Reason I wanna remove digital products is because we can't sell them really on Amazon. And then we're going to go down to the 90 day out of stock percentage. Now what this will do is you can choose Amazon, new, used, and whether or not the buy box has been out of stock or suppressed at all. And we're just going to choose Amazon. And we're going to go from 100, this is a percent, so 100 to infinity, or leaving this blank would be infinity. And this means that this is going to pull back the products where Keepa shows that Amazon has been out of stock 100% of the time over the last 90 days, right? We go through there, we now have 1,284,908 products on Amazon with an average 30-day sales rank of less than 500,000, where the price has gone up anywhere from 10% to 1,000%. Now, a lot of people are like, well, why would this be helpful? Well, this is just helpful to let you know that prices do not always tank. Prices do go up on products that actually sell. Uh, and you can take advantage of that. Now, this amount of data is going to be too much. Uh, you're gonna have private label products in here. You're looking at all the categories uh, and going through 1.2 million ASINs is just not something that any human or even a team of four or five people is going to be able to do in a reasonable amount of time. However, using the, uh, using the logic that we've used here to find how many products there are that are going up in price, what we can do is we can get a little bit more surgical. And we could go to a particular category like grocery. We could go to a particular category like uh, health and beauty or beauty and personal care, health and personal care or beauty and uh, whatever category you might be interested in. And you can really narrow down on just those products. Matter of fact, the other day we looked at some grocery products that have gone up in price in a very narrow uh, corridor of sales rank where uh, everything has kind of stayed very flat, very unsexy. And we found 801 products. And just looking through the first few, there were some there that were profitable. Uh, not all of them were OA. Some you needed to actually go out to certain stores like a Trader Joe's, which you can't really buy online. Uh, and we were able to find products really quickly that were profitable. So 
You can use this and you can use the product finder to go out and find those types of products. And then you can come over here in the product finder, the product viewer, and you can actually look at the products, see what they are, actually pull up the Keepa graph so you can see what's happening. You can see, like I said, some of these will be a little off where the prices come down and then it's shot back up. Okay, uh, but you're gonna see other products where the price has just consistently gone up over time. This one's a very small increase over time, but you can see it's gone from $5 up to about maybe $7.50 or $8 without me clicking through and actually looking at the buy box price. And then once you're here, you can use even more filters. Maybe you don't wanna see the products where the sales rank is currently number one. Maybe you wanna look for products that are outside of maybe 10,000 in sales rank up to 50,000 in sales rank or 100,000 in sales rank, all right? So there's a ton of stuff you can do here. Now, before you go, I will have to pitch you on taking the Keepa Academy. The Keepa Academy is a course that we came up with uh, that you can go and check out. There are 26 modules that go into details just like this so that you can master the art and science of using Keepa in your Amazon business. Uh, and I would highly suggest that you at least go check it out, see what others are saying. We've had about 100 people come through so far, uh, so not a ton, but we are starting to get some reviews that are coming in and they've been uh, very positive so far. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please make sure to uh, drop a comment below. I'll be happy to answer uh, any way I can. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a killer day.